How's it going, folks? Kayla Wachowski here. Um, I wanted to give my opinion on this whole Zach George fiasco. Uh, not that anybody is particularly interested or particularly cares, but um, I am just so tired of, of seeing everybody, you know, making one person giving a bunch of free advice, making them responsible for everybody's issues versus taking their own accountability. Now, this does not go for everyone. I understand right now I've already rubbed a lot of people the wrong way, and I totally get it. I'm not trying to make this anything personal because it's not personal. Um, I'm not saying you're a bad owner. You're a bad dog person. I'm not saying he's a bad owner. I don't think he's, he's evil. I don't necessarily support him or, or promote him. Um, a lot of people don't even know who he is. So he's a very popular dog trainer on YouTube. Some would say the most popular. Um, and okay, good for him. You know, it's business. That's in the end, that's what it is, you know? So this whole thing about uh, the diehard fans that think he can do no wrong, and then there's people who think that he should be canceled and he's evil and he's gonna he has already had dogs put down and this and that because they followed his advice. Um, you could say the same thing about uh, Siege Milan, about the the Jeff Gelman, about the Upstate Canine guy, about Victoria Stillwell. You can follow all these people who give free advice and show their lessons on YouTube or television or whatever. You're not paying for their time. They are not there to work with you in your particular environment, in your exact context to tell you when you're doing something right or wrong, or if this technique should work with your dog, or if uh, the the space between you and another dog, you know, your dog is over threshold. They are not there to tell you all that. So you could think you're doing everything right, and your dog goes backwards in training, or you could follow, you could follow everything that they tell you on the video, and your dog goes backwards in training, and you want to blame them. It's not necessarily their fault. I'm not saying that they're giving good advice. You know, don't follow Jeff Gelman. Don't follow the upstate canine guy. Don't follow Cesar Milan. Um, those are actually giving very dangerous advice. But again, it's advice. They're not, you're not paying them for it. They're not giving you any guarantees. Even Zach's not giving you any guarantees. You're not paying him for it. You're getting free advice. And that can either be good or bad. You know, it can help you or it won't. Advice is advice. So you take it with a grain of salt. Um, just like what I'm saying, you can take this with a grain of salt. I'm just saying, if you follow something, you read a book, you follow a video, you do all this stuff, which, you know, you pay minimally for, or you get it for free. There's a lot of free advice out there. Um, and a lot of it is not very good, but how do you know until you have experience with that? Um, I know Thomas is tired of me, uh, always just chatting over here. But what I'm saying is that you have to learn what you want to follow and what you don't. And you can't hold the people who give that advice responsible. Um, take accountability for yourself that, hey, I followed this, I tried this technique, it didn't work. Um, now, in my opinion, none of the techniques of, of using special training collars or any of that nonsense is ever necessary. You know, use positive reinforcement, do research on what proper positive reinforcement is, not just what people will say it is. Um, the very basis of it is that you, you add something to increase behavior. So for a dog who likes balls, you can add a ball or a toy that increases their behavior of a stay or a fetch or a loose leash or whatever it is, you know, or you can use food treats or, or leaving them alone or some dogs like scratching. Um, that's the basics of positive reinforcement. But when it comes to Zach, uh, I'm not going to say much about, you know, a lot of his videos. I, I just, I don't follow them. You know, I, I see these things blowing up about, you know, oh, he's he's going to start a dog fight or my dog's been put down because I followed him. Well, honestly, that's not his fault. I mean, yes, you chose to follow him. He gave bad advice, but he's not giving it to you as an individual. You probably have a lot of other underlying issues that he doesn't know about. He doesn't even know you exist uh, in this instance. Uh, I'm not saying that you couldn't work with him. I'm just saying that in this instance, you you put all of, of the blame on someone else so you don't take accountability that you're responsible for your dog ultimately if this one method is not working for your dog then how cute these little peppers um if this one method isn't working for your dog then go with another trainer pay that trainer you know pay them for their time get proper advice get proper you know educated advice um see a behaviorist they have a doctorate in animal science and animal behavior um they spend a lot of time learning how to do things properly, how animals work properly. So, sorry, I'm getting distracted by dogs, um, off-leash dogs, non-off-leash dogs. Um, kind of makes me worry. But anyway, just take everything with a grain of salt. Um, I don't think 
Zach is necessarily even a bad guy. I don't agree with all the, the, the advice he gives, but I don't think he's necessarily dangerous. I mean, you want to focus on someone who's bad, focus on Jeff Gelman, the upstate canine guy, Cesar Milan, all these people who have, you know, either currently uh, or in the past have actively abused animals in the name of training, of training. So go after the people that are really dangerous, um, spread awareness about them, and, and, you know, and just do that. You know, you don't need to become obsessed about it. Just teach people uh, what is helpful and what isn't, and people can decide for themselves that the whole thing about having advice is that they can choose to take it or leave it. And a lot of people think that that's all you can do is follow one person's advice. So um, I think it's very important to learn that you can pick and choose from people and feel what's, what's best for you. You know, if you want to follow Cesar Milan's tactics and you think it works well for you, then by all means, you know, I can't stop you. Um, even if I tell you that it's outdated, it's unnecessary, it's dangerous, it's harmful to your dog and even the bond between you two, that's all I can say. And you can choose to say, hey, screw you, or hey, maybe I'll look into that. So that's just my opinion. Uh, I don't promote Zach. Um, I don't think he's necessarily dangerous. I wouldn't say that. Um, I just think he has different priorities. A lot of people have different priorities, just like people who think their dogs should always heal and pay attention to them all the time. I, I want my dog to be a dog. So um, that is my opinion. So that's my advice to you. Get a lot of information from different sources um, that, that back up you know whatever you want to believe. Um, and just because people believe in something doesn't necessarily make it right or wrong. So this isn't about black and white. You know, it's about everything in between. Um, I'm very rarely just black and white. I'm always in the middle. There's lots of different options. So do what you feel is best for you. And most importantly for your dog, if you follow any one person that seems to be very popular and you feel like, you know, this isn't really helping, then you can certainly move on to any other sources. You know, you're not stuck with one person. So because you chose to follow Zach from the first video to the thousandth, um, and your dog is not improving, then maybe that's a clue that you should try someone else or you should hire a trainer or you should, you know, look at your dog and not just what somebody else is telling you, you know, pay attention to your own individual dog in your own context. Learn to pick up on these little signals um, that might tell you that you're working too fast or, or um, your dog is too distracted, your dog is too nervous, you know, they need to go slower or or maybe your dog is bored and you need to work faster. Everything depends. So don't just hold, uh, you know, I mean, I could, if the only tool you have in your toolbox is a hammer, you're going to see every problem is a nail. So if you only follow one person and you only listen to their advice and you can't think for yourself, then that's a clue. Start thinking for yourself. Start you know, problem solving, start, you know, listening to different sources and uh, try to educate yourself and expand your own information on what you know about your own dog and, you know, how the techniques that you have learned. Um, and hopefully they are positive. So uh, anyway, that's just my personal take on the whole Zach George thing and, and other trainers. Um, you know, I kind of lightly mentioned the other ones. I, I don't endorse Gelman or CJ Milan or the Upstate Canine guy. They are very, very dangerous, as I've said earlier. That's just my thought on things. So um, I don't think Zach George is necessarily dangerous. I don't think he should be canceled. I just don't follow him. So I don't agree with him. So I don't follow him. So hopefully you can make that decision for yourself. Adonis is getting hot. So I'll finally shut up and <laughs> turn the AC on for us. Oh, sorry. This is not the popular opinion. Um, and that's okay. Uh, you know, everybody has the right to their own opinion, how they feel about it. I don't particularly like Zach or I don't, I don't like his training style. So I just don't follow him. I also don't follow a lot of other people. Um, I follow people I do like. That's my opinion. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope it didn't wrestle too many feathers. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, try to keep it civil in the comments. You know, this is not about a war about, you know, oh, he's bad or, or good or blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, so there's that. So hope you all have a good day and try to stay positive.